Good morning. Good morning, Father. I welcome you to this Eucharistic celebration where we remind ourselves of our intentions, asking God for his love and purpose in our lives. In the special way, we pray for the intentions of Carol Wilson, Darlene Graham, Elenita Spiritu Paganas, Paul Peter Langren, Mary Bishview, Theodore Hidden, and Jacob, and all the mothers, especially those whose name are on the envelope. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, to be worthy to celebrate this Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins, asking God for forgiveness and mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. 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 Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to life of our sin. Amen. Let us pray. May your spirit, O Lord, we pray, imbue in us powerfully with spiritual gifts. That you may that he may give us a mind pleasing to you and graciously conform us to your will. We ask this for our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please receive. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Wishing to determine the truth about why Paul was being accused by the Jews, the commander freed him and ordered the chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin to convene. Then he brought Paul down and made him stand before them. Paul was aware that some were Sadducees and some Pharisees. So he called out before the Sanhedrin, my brothers, I am a Pharisee, the son of Pharisees. I am on trial for hope in the resurrection of the dead. When he said this, a dispute broke out between the Pharisees and Sadducees, and the group became divided. For the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection or angels or spirits, while the Pharisees acknowledge all three. A great uproar occurred and some scribes belonging to the Pharisee party stood up and sharply argued, we find nothing wrong with this man. Suppose a spirit or an angel has spoken to him. The dispute was so serious that the commander, afraid that Paul would be torn to pieces by them, ordered his troops to go down and rescue Paul from their midst and take him into the compound. The following night, the Lord stood by him and said, Take courage, for just as you have borne witness to my cause in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness in Rome. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my love. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, safe, O God, you are, you are my hope. hope. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence. Because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, 
nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep, Keep me safe, O God, God, you are my hope. hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep, Keep me safe, safe O God, God, you are, you are my hope. hope. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. May they all be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you. That the world may believe that you sent me, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ are coming to join me. Glory to you, O Lord. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, I pray not only for thee, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one as you, Father, and I, in me and you, as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me, and I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. I in them, and you in me. That they may be brought to perfection as one. That the world may know that you sent me. And that you love them even as you love me. Father, they are your gift to me. And we is that where I am, they also may be with me. That they may see my glory that you gave me. Because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father. The world also does not know you. But I know you. Your name and I will make it known that the love with which you love me may be in them and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please receive. And Jesus has been praying for the apostles at the end of the journey so that they will stay strong but the problem with the apostles, all of us included, is to shy away from sharing this gift of Christ in us. Because sometimes we present ourselves instead of presenting God. But St. Paul give us a clue. Always say, speak, and share what you believe in. Everybody who stands as your enemy, they do not understand what they are fighting for. Sometimes we, you do have sober. In, in Nigeria, the way we do it is um, you are a Muslim from the north and you have a Christian from the north. What comes first? the tribe of northern origin or the religion of Muslim or Christian and they are confused should I choose the Muslim because he is a, a brother but he's not a Christian and I tell you 90% of the war or fight is not about the tribe but about the religion so what they do, they present the religion, they kill their brother. And I say to them, 
Remember, you are brothers before you choose religion. Religion is not fundamental. It's your choice. You were born as brothers, then you grew up Christian, Muslim. But God Christ is saying, if you have me in you, if you receive God in you, he said, I'm not praying for this only. I'm praying for every other person that will believe in them. So that this love should not end with you, should not end with your brother. It should transverse. Is above brotherhood. The love of Christ doesn't see color, doesn't see gender, doesn't see political affiliation, doesn't see tribe, doesn't see nation. If you love only because he's black or because he's white, because he's a political party, because he is a descendant, no. This love should be above these immaterial things. It should be about the person, the love of God. So I say to you, and I say to myself, if you still love on the basis of the material things, it is time to rethink. Because Christ said, not only for you, but all other people that will believe in them because of my word. So I say to you, it is time to think about why do I hate? Why do I dislike? Why do I castigate? Why do I look down? Why do I insult? Why, why am I not listening? And we saw today the Pharisees and the Sadducees. They are brothers and sisters, but they want to kill Paul because of belief. And Paul said, it's just because I believe in spirit. I believe in angels. I believe in resurrection. And there was confusion. If it is not about love, these material things will change your love and there will always be confusion what to do. But if it is about purity of love, the love of Christ and the love of God, it has no boundary. Even when the person doesn't speak your language, even when he doesn't look like you, even when he doesn't say things, you have some things to disagree upon. But the love of Christ doesn't castigate create boundary or divide. It is always about the love of unity, the love of simplicity, and the love of happiness. Please stand. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faith. And let them by your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created. And you shall be the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and never enjoy His consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we continue to pray for Carol Wilson, Darlene Graham, Elenita Espirito Taganas, Paul Nguyen, Peter Languyen, Mary Pitchview, Theodore Eden and Jacko, and all the mothers, especially those whose name are on the envelope. We ask you, Almighty God, to give us the spirit of love and give us the courage to share this love with one another, not minding the gender, the race, the political affiliation, the class, or the institution. We will always find a reason to love, not a reason to hate. We will always find a reason to share the word of Christ in us, not a reason to shy away or to hide it. We will always praise you and give you the glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for sure the nice you have received the bread and offer you fruit of the earth, and walk up in my hands to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine, we offer you fruit of the vine, and the work of human hands is to become for us the spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good in the middle of all His holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and maintain our God through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they are praised. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, holy good Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the you for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this out of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this out of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us. Save us. Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may gather into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Oscar, Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may marry to be glorious to maintain our life, and may praise and glorify through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we have to say, uh, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other a sign of peace. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the suffer of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please be seated.
I tell you the truth. It is for your good that I go. For if I do not go away, the paraclet will not come to you, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, we pray. Enlighten us by the instruction they bring. And restore us through our participation in them. That you may marry the gifts of the Holy Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God, continue to bless your Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve. Thanks be to God. Have a very nice day. Thank you, Father.